Oh, hello guys. This is me, the narrator replaced Dragon Dude temporarily to greetings you guys. He is kinda busy to taming the dragon. Oh, there he is. Yeehaw. Hello guys, I'm back with another chicken gun fact that I bet many of you didn't know about it. There are 11 facts that I'll show you in today's video. So grab a snack and we move on to the facts number 1. Moving on to the first fact of this video, I'd like to share something interesting that you might have already heard of, the Chicken Song. This song was featured in the fan-made version of Chicken Gun, which actually represented the original version of Chicken Gun. Initially, Chao Apps officially included this music on the home screen of our game, however, they later decided to remove it in a subsequent update. In my opinion, this was the right move. The decision to remove the song was not only because it wasn't suitable for the game, but there may have also been concerns about copyright claims since the music was copyrighted. The inclusion of copyrighted music in games can lead to legal issues and potential copyright infringement. To avoid these complications, game developers often opt for original music or licensed tracks that don't infringe on copyright laws. Moving on to the second fact, let's explore the widely recognized meme of the cute dancing rabbit bunny featured in Chicken Guns TV ads. This meme finds its roots in an advertisement for a Russian drink called Zakamski Kvass. Given that Chicken Gun is a Russian game with a predominantly Russian fan base, it's no surprise that someone from the community decided to create a parody of this famous Russian ad within the game. What's intriguing is that Chao Apps, the developers of Chicken Gun, took notice of this parody and officially integrated it into the game. This decision was well received by the Chicken Gun community, showcasing the developers' appreciation for their creative player base. Today, many YouTubers have followed suit, creating their own parodies of the Zakamski class at using their chicken gun avatars. The most recent chicken gun update on July 29th introduced several intriguing additions to the game. Among these, the most highly anticipated addition was the meat chicken entity. However, what made this update particularly unusual was the discovery by some players, a few days later, of an exclusive map called Big Farm within the game. These players were even able to play on this map. What added to the intrigue was that this map appeared to be exclusive to iOS users, which was quite unusual. My assumption is that an unreleased map, still in development, was inadvertently made available to iOS users due to a developer oversight. I suspect that this map may find its way into an upcoming Chicken Gun update. To be honest, this map looks quite impressive and has the potential to become one of the most played maps in the game upon its official release. For now, all we can do is wait and see what Chalo Apps has in store for Chicken Gun players. The old players of Chicken Gun may fondly recall that the game's sounds, such as the death sound and grenade throwing, were notably different and some might argue, even better in the past. What adds an interesting twist to this fact is that these game sounds were actually borrowed from another game called Shell Shockers. This suggests that Shell Shockers might have served as an inspiration for Chicken Gun. For those interested, Shell Shockers can be played on shellshocker.io and is also available on the Play Store. However, I find Chicken Gun to be a superior gaming experience when compared to Shell Shockers. That said, one area where Chalo Apps could make improvements is by incorporating more original sounds and music into Chicken Gun to further enhance the game's unique identity. And mobs too, haha, <laughs> we need some original characters. Now, this is something a bit different. Did you know who the most impersonated person in Chicken Gun is? Are you serious? Well, you guessed it right, it's me and a Russian YouTuber named Den19k. Den19k happens to be the most subscribed Chicken Gun YouTuber in the community, creating content primarily in Russian. It's worth mentioning that Chicken Gun boasts its largest fanbase in Russia. However, here's something interesting. 
I hold the position of being the most subscribed English chicken gun YouTuber in the community, which is pretty cool, I must say. But honestly, it's a bit frustrating to see many Asian YouTubers with over 100k subscribers on their channels, despite producing rather uninspiring and clickbait heavy videos. This can be quite annoying. So, if you're looking for top quality chicken gun content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. In the world of Chicken Gun, you may have come across some strange server names like Busco Novia, Busco Eos, Solo Paises, and Dragon Dude, LOL. These server names have puzzled many players, and as an experienced Chicken Gun player, you've likely encountered them across various regions. While I'm not entirely certain about the exact meaning of Busco Novia, it appears to be a Spanish phrase that translates to looking for a girlfriend in English. Busco Eos would translate to looking for children, and solo paises means only countries in Spanish. The chicken gun community is full of creative and sometimes enigmatic server names, adding an extra layer of interest and fun to the game. If you happen to know more about the meanings behind these server names or have your own interpretations, feel free to share them in the comments below. If you've been a long-time player of Chicken Gun, you've likely observed a fascinating trend. Chalo Apps consistently provides Easter eggs related to entities like Cartoon Cat or other mobs in the game. What sets this apart is their habit of dropping hints to the players before officially releasing an update. This strategic move creates a sense of excitement and anticipation among the player base. However, what truly adds an element of surprise and amusement is where they choose to place these secrets. Often, these easter eggs are hidden in the most unconventional and unexpected locations. You might stumble upon them while accidentally glitching behind a wall or discovering other unintended paths. Chalowat's willingness to embrace these glitches and turn them into exciting secrets showcases their creativity. In fact, glitches have now evolved into a fun and integral part of the chicken gun experience. It's a testament to how game developers can transform unexpected quirks into engaging features, that keep players entertained and eager to explore every nook and cranny of the game world. So, the next time you uncover one of these hidden gems in Chicken Gun, appreciate the clever way Chalo Apps has made glitches a genuine and enjoyable aspect of the game. Um, unpopular opinion, haha, but never mind on to the next one. In Chicken Gun, Chalo Apps has a unique approach to placing items, particularly skins and mobs in unexpected areas, as I mentioned earlier. This aspect of the game is quite cool because it sets Chicken Gun apart from many other games. In other games, you often have to either grind extensively or spend real life money to unlock secret skins or mobs. What's even more commendable is that Chalo Apps ensures that players don't miss out on these hidden treasures when there's a new update. Instead of making players rediscover these secrets with each new version, they automatically unlock the old ones. For example, consider the case of the wings in Chicken Gun. When Chalo Apps releases new and upgraded wings, the old ones are automatically unlocked. This eliminates the need for players to hunt for them again every time they install the game. This player-friendly approach adds to the overall enjoyment of Chicken Gun, making it easier for both new and returning players to access and enjoy the game's diverse content. Whether you consider this a fact or simply an appreciation for Chalo Apps, it's undeniably interesting. Chicken Gun has amassed more than 50 million downloads on the Play Store alone. When you factor in iOS users and the substantial 40% of Chicken Gun players using APKs to enjoy the game, it easily surpasses the 100 million download mark. What's intriguing about this achievement is that despite boasting such a massive player base, Chalo Apps has refrained from adding exclusive paid in-game items. In an era where many game developers continually introduce paid content to boost their revenue, Chicken Gun has maintained a different approach. Chicken Gun still employs ads, but it offers players the choice to purchase coins if they prefer not to spend hours grinding for them. Moreover, players have the option to disable ads for a mere $1 payment, which provides a lifetime ad-free experience. This player-friendly approach sets Chicken Gun apart and demonstrates Chalo Apps commitment to providing an enjoyable gaming experience, without overwhelming players with paywalls or exclusive paid items. I want to clarify that I'm not entirely certain, but as I mentioned earlier, I am currently the most subscribed English Chicken Gun YouTuber, and Din is the most subscribed Russian Chicken Gun YouTuber. 
On my channel, I've accumulated over 80 million views, which positions me as the third most viewed chicken gun YouTuber. Two Russian YouTubers, Koresh 24k with 90 million views and Den 19k with an impressive 230 million views as of now hold the top spots. A noteworthy achievement is that Den 19k is on track to become the first Russian chicken gun YouTuber to reach the remarkable milestone of 1 million subscribers, which is truly impressive. As for myself, I have the potential to become the first English chicken gun YouTuber to reach that coveted milestone of 1 million subscribers. You can help make it happen by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Your support would be greatly appreciated and would contribute to the growing global community of chicken gun players. You've probably come across various chicken gun YouTubers playing the game within the Roblox platform, ranging from big to small channels, and sometimes with a touch of clickbait. This trend has become quite popular on YouTube. However, it's interesting to note that the first person to introduce this concept to the chicken gun community was me. What? In a video I uploaded over a year ago on July 15, 2022, titled Chicken Gun 3D Gameplay. Although I created many more videos after that initial one, it eventually sparked a trend, with numerous YouTubers following suit by playing Chicken Gun within the Roblox environment. I don't claim full credit for this trend, but it's satisfying to see that many popular YouTubers also made videos about it after I did, which was quite cool, I must say. So, that wraps up this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.